My son does his schoolwork. Say hi, Zion. He's doing his math. How are we doing, buddy? And I think he's spending too much time with the dog instead of playing, instead of doing his schoolwork. Hi guys, so here is my fifth graders Abeka homeschool books and notebooks and paper <laughs> and anything else that we need. I have it sitting on top of this yellow dresser of sorts that my husband got for free. Um, so I do have it sitting close to where my son does his schoolwork. Say hi, Zion. He's doing his math. How are we doing, buddy? And I think he's spending too much time with the dog instead of playing, instead of doing his schoolwork. <laughs> so I have it within walking distance of where he sits, which I think is, is something to think about. Make sure that uh, the books or whatever that you're using is in within walking distance of your child. I know it sounds simple, but it saves a lot of time. So here is his week's work of books. I do it week by week. I do not do the crate system. So on Sundays, I will prepare and rip out all the pages for the following week. I'll go through everything, highlight everything, make sure everything is ready. So here is the setup. Here is the video manual that I have for um, the fifth grade. If you don't do the video manuals, you have a parent teacher manual. Um, so it's just one book that I put in a notebook. I took it out and put them all in a notebook. Um, when you get to the higher grades, I believe it's seventh and up, you will have individual video manuals for each of your subjects. So it gets even more funner when it comes time to organizing your homeschool books. But this can save you a lot of frustration, a lot of stress, a lot of time. This is what has worked for me. Um, so I wanted to just share with you guys what worked for me. Um, so here's this video manual. Take it out, put it over here, get ready for the day. We are on lesson 18, so obviously that needs to be changed because it says 16. And then um, here's his Bible. So I have the subjects um, and his notebooks in this white contraption here. This took me forever to find out what it's called on Amazon. I had to look up many different things. I don't know if this is, might be called um, a mail separator, a mail file folder, a file folder separator, but I actually got this at Walmart about three years ago. And ever since, I've always looked, and every year they don't have it. So it seems like I keep getting more and more books or need more and more folders, and I keep running out of these. So I should have bought more for these. I do have some for my high school or two as well, but these are really good for separating the subjects. Um, I do have this file folder, storage bin, or like a little file folder holder. I don't like these as much as I like these. A lot of people like these. These are better than nothing, but these are super better. Um, so let me show you what we do and how I coordinate it. I coordinate them by color, by color. So if you know, if you use a Becca, they usually have the same color on the outside of their video manuals. That's for the upper grades. Now, they use the same colors for the answer keys for the lower grades. So if you notice here, what color is the math? The math is usually colored yellow. It's yellow for all the grades, it's yellow in ninth grade. The file folder is, has a spiral bound of yellow. So I coordinate it with a yellow folder and I put all of his sheets in it for the week in his yellow folder, which I know is math. But of course, this year we strayed. This year we wanted the neon tire folder. So usually it is a yellow folder with stickers on it, on the front of it, that says math. I'll have a, a little sticker thing that says math. But this year we went differently. But I know when I look at this, that this is his math folder. I pull it out. He's got a sheet work in it for the week. And his completed sheet works go in a folder right here. So this is what he's completed for the week, and I know I need to file it on Sunday when I'm preparing for his next week's work of curriculum or of papers. So here's his folder. Now, um, he's in the fifth grade math, and so you know these sheets right here? Since we do the DVD curriculum, we don't get the flashcards. Of course, you could order them extra, but on certain subjects or on certain topics that are, might be a little bit harder for him to remember, I keep these in here. Sometimes I will cut these off 
and just use them kind of as you would use a, um, a flash card. So you know the, the liquid measures the linear measures, especially um, the linear measures are the harder ones for him to remember. So I do um, keep this in here. And if I need a couple of extra reminder flashcards, I keep them in here. But his week's work is on this side, what he has to complete. So um, there's his file folder for math. So I know that the math folder goes right there next to the yellow. Um, let's see. Now, language arts is always blue. For the most part, you can see the blue, the blue spiral outside, so you know it's blue. You can coordinate it with a blue folder. We have a blue car. So when I look at it and grab it, I know that it's language arts. Same thing for science. Science is always green in Abeka. Always green. Their books are green. Their spiral bound video manual is green. There is not a, um, this is green. So I put a green folder, have science on it, put his name on it. If I open it up, um, it has any kind of extra sheets here and it has the answers to his school book here. And then I just put it up and then I fold it, file it over here. And I know that it's science. Of course, I can't do it using one hand. Of course, I know that it's science because it's green. And then here's his notebook that he has for science for his homework. And then <clears throat> history, I think, is also blue. History is the only one that I think it might be different. So basically, we just color coordinate it by the spiral um, that's outside. So history is his history. It's blue as well. Here is his handwriting and his spelling. And inside his spelling, I keep the, the spelling book with his tests, if he has any, with the answers that I need. So basically, I just color coordinate everything and it makes life a lot easier. I know it's so simple, it's so simple, but when you need to get something really quick, a book, you know what it is. And Bible, usually in the upper grades is brown. So you can use a brown folder that matches. Over here in this, I keep the answer keys. So I have test keys, language keys. I have all the keys to everything over here. Here's his reading. Um, and I have some stickers for fun. So when it comes time to take the quiz or test, I can, bam, just take it out. It's right here. It's right where he's, he's doing his schoolwork. So it saves time. So all this is there. And here is something else that I recently bought. It's called a file sorter. Now, I haven't taken it out yet, so it's like this. It kind of looks like these white ones a little bit, um, but they're black. They look pretty good, but they're kind of connected by this bottom rack. So I got this from Amazon. Oh, that looks fun. That looks like something the carpenter can put together later. <laughs> and then um, here's another one. Oh, this looks really fun. And then it's connected by this long... So they could just go like this <clears throat> and they go like this. And there's another one that's inside the box as well, but I'm not going to pull it out. So if you're looking to get something like that, check under file sorters, um, file sorter sorters. They might have these at Walmart. They did not have them at Target because I've looked. So if you're looking how to organize your school books for your Rebecca, for Rebecca child or any child that you have, I recommend these, um, these sorters and color coordinating it. Um, that will save you a lot of time when you need to pull something out really quick. Um, so yes, this is what made my life easier when I homeschooled. I know it's very basic, but it works for us. And um, that is it in a nutshell. I probably will post something else about organizing my high schooler's schoolwork. He is in a completely different room and he has a lot more books. But um, this has saved me time and energy, and I just wanted to share it with you all. So I hope you guys have a good homeschool year, and leave me a comment, and we can talk homeschooling or whatever else you want to talk about. And um, have a great day, guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. So I went ahead and had the carpenter put the file sorter together. And you know what? I really like it. Um, it fits a lot of the notebooks and books, and it's, it's durable. Um, it holds up well. It's sturdy. Um, there's about, let me see, one, two, three, four, five cubbies that you can put books in. And um, yeah, I'm going to think I'm going to have to order another one of these. So I'm really impressed with this file sort. I'll link it below.